If not for nothing, the NBA playoffs start this weekend. And unfortunately, for the first time since middle school, the de facto best player in the entire world won't be in attendance. And as much as I like to say it's not his fault, whether it be injuries, rumors, trades, or chemistry, it's kind of hard to act like it's chiefly anyone else's. But there lies the problem, right? Let's blame to go around, and with internal finger pointing comes this phenomenon in the public. A perfect storm situation where the stars align and temperature isn't too warm or cool, and there's just enough nitrogen in the soil, and the sun is out and shining, and it's just an overall immaculate weather. The best weather to hate. To hate on the next fucking man. And boy, do people love to fucking hate. Especially when it's a kick to a man that's down because you're so tired of seeing him up. A chance to exercise their best short-term memory as prisoner of the moment as rendition where I have to suffer through countless off-season and post-season sport media hot takes where narratives get spun and prior four-play seedings get ignored. And a smorgasbord of B-plus to A-flat players getting prematurely elevated to face of the league status. That shit sickens me. It happens every year. So an attempt to make ESPN, Fox Sports, TNT, ABC, and whoever else the fuck's job easier over the next three months to avoid any fake outrage or surprise. Here goes nothing. James Harden will win MVP. The Warriors will pull off a three-peat, and Katie will have as many rings as LeBron. And when he's done doing that, the order of the best active players will then and only then still be LeBron James at the top. The kid from Akron right under that, and King Goat James at number one. The fuck? Followed by Katie at two, Kawhi at three, AD at four, Steph dead center, Giannis at six, Harden and Kyrie seventh place tied, CP3 at eight, Westbrook at nine, with the B tailing at home at ten. And the Lakers will be a top five team in the league coming into the next season. These are facts beyond debate, and I'm 100% objectively right. But I mean, feel free to disagree with the truth. That when the Lakers land another marquee free agent, LeBron ends up back in the finals, averaging damn near 30, 10, and 10. Please don't backtrack. Amen. How, you, how you pause this shit? Oh.